What is up guys, this is Nick. We are back and we are going to be covering the updates that came out for Black Desert today. Um, it is January 29th, so we just had a couple of things, nothing major, some Pearl Shop updates and Pearl Shop changes, as well as the Arsha challenge for PS4. I'll go over the changes between PS4 and Xbox in the uh, Pearl Shop update, but the Pearl Shop changes are both consoles and the Arsha challenge is just PS4. So let's get into this. We'll start out with the Arsha challenge. So adventurers, the cold winter air will soon be heating up with the sounds of metal on metal on the Ar as the Arsha challenge it will soon be upon us. The Arsha challenge will give you the opportunity to take on the Black Desert GMs in 1v1 combat and will give special items the more GMs you manage to take down. Prove that you are worthy of the Arsha challenge. The event one versus one duel with a GM after beating a GM, you have a the choice to continue to fight more GMs for better rewards or take your current rewards and run. Uh, if you are defeated by a GM, you will receive no rewards. It is your choice whether to decline the next stage and take the rewards or risk it all on the next stage. So the event will run in Europe and the United States uh, on February 1st, 9 p.m. Pacific for North America and 10 p.m. whatever UTC is um, in Europe. Um, and then in Asia, it will be February 2nd at 6 p.m., uh, which Grimmage Mean Time plus 9, whatever time zone that is. How to participate? Go to the Arsha server around 20 minutes before the event starts. Follow the in-game announcements and whisper the GM indicated in the post. Adventures will be summoned to the battle arena in order of the whispers. Duel for 120 seconds. You can choose to challenge or give up when you win. Buff items such as foods and elixirs can be used. Once time runs out, the player with the most HP will win. Stage one win, two wins, and three wins. You'll get a Valk's Cry times four, Valk's Cry times eight, and a Valk's Cry times 16 for three wins. Uh, there are the special stuff that you should note for the um, um, Arsha challenge. Uh, you can just read those if they matter. It's just stuff about rules and stuff like that. So moving on, we have the Pro Shop update. So we're going to start off. This is the Xbox One, and then I'll show just the changes near the bottom that are the PlayStation changes. So we have an event rare item box in the game for 2,000 pearls. Uh, you can get a Hedgehog Tier 4 at 3%, Tier 3 at 16.5%, Tier 2 at 40.5%, and a Snowflake Reindeer box, which will give you two Tier 1 Snowflake Reindeers, is another 40%. It's not a bad deal. Um, you're essentially paying for, two, at worst, a Tier 2, because you could put the two Snowflake Reindeer together and get a Tier 2, more than likely. So you're paying for a Tier 2 or a, a Tier 2 Reindeer or a Hedgehog at 80.5%. Moderate chance, 165 at a Hedgehog, and then 3% at a Tier 4 Hedgehog. Um, not sure I'll open up any of these, but it's not a terrible value. Moving on to the Premium Adventures Pack, um, we have for, it's on sale for 20% off, 3,760 pearls. We have Polar Bear Tier 2, uh, value pack for 30 days, transaction made Fairy Irene, and an outfit 20% discount coupon. Not a bad deal, may pick one of these up. Uh, polar bear tier two, pretty nice as well as would probably, I would take the polar bear as a pet. So might look into picking that up. Next, we have the master of enhancement pack. This comes with 50 artisan, artisan memory, 20 Volks cry, a hundred crone stones, 50 memory fragments, advice of the Volk plus 40 times one and a blacksmith secret, um, a hundred times one. So it's on sale for 40% off, 5,640 pearls, uh, pretty decent, limit 5 per family, uh, that's a high number um, of a limit, usually they're down at 1 to 3, uh, but this is limited to 5, so 25,000 pearls, you could pick up the max limit of this for enhancing. Moving on, we have the Frostbite uh, set. I really like this for females, not a huge fan of it for males, but it is a pretty decent male uh, outfit set. Uh, so there's the Frostbite outfit set. Um, not sure what character I'm going to end up picking this up on. It doesn't look like there is a time limit on this outfit, so should be in the game for an extended period of time with the option to pick it up. I like white outfits. Um, I know it's kind of basic, but I do really like white and black uh, stuff, and this is white, so I really do like this outfit. Um, we'll definitely be picking it up on characters. 
in the future, not sure what characters it's going to go on. Um, I don't necessarily love the Konoichi stuff, so maybe I'll pick it up on that character. Um, there is the male version. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's one of the better male outfits in the game that I like, uh, so maybe I'll pick it up on some of my male characters as well. Uh, so next we have the following sale on a golden bell. You can see the times right there. I'm not going to read them, but you can see the time until it's on sale for, and that's the golden bell here. Um, it is on sale for 50% off 900 and it'll give combat increase plus 100% for the next one hour in the user's current server. Moving on, we have some new stuff here. We have Warrior, Ranger, Sorceress, Berserker, Tamer, Musa, Lon, and another thing for Lon. Uh, the Musa, Tamer, Berserker, Sorceress, Ranger, and Warrior got the Antana sets. Lon got the Charles Rene classic set, and Lon got the Silishi underwear. Uh, so nothing crazy. Um, these are just basic armor sets that they added in. The Charles Rene for the lawn. You guys know what Charles Rene is. It's been on Sork and others for a while now. So moving on, here are the new things for the PlayStation 4. They got the Red Rope Classic sets for Warrior Berserker and Musa. Fisto Fishing Boat set. Heidelin Wine Prop set. Red Oak Floor. Marin Stone Floor. Picnic Day Wall. Pale Green Bud Wall, Lawn Nude Basic, Nude Basic No Stocking Lawn, Lawn White Zebra, Lawn White Zebra No Stockings, Lawn Lazies, Striker Teary Ear Cuff, um, Striker Inquiries uh, Glasses, and Lawn Ignis Ear Cuff. So just some basic stuff added to the game, nothing too major, not any awesome sets, but stuff that probably needed to get added into the game. So the final thing we'll talk about is Pearl Shop changes. So adventurers, there will be changes to certain Pearl Shop items coming in the next update. The following items will be discounted from sale. Sealed Book of Combat, Cliff Skill Add-on Guide, Armstrong Skill Guide. These items will then be combined into the new Secret Book of Old Moon. The Secret Book of Old Moon combines aspects of the items listed above and combines them into one item. The cost of the item will be 1,250 pearls, which is the same price as the Sealed Book of Combat. The Secret Book of the Old Moon provides the following benefits. Combat XP plus 100%, Skill XP plus 50%, and Life Skill plus 50%. Reset Enhanced Skills freely, Change Skill Add-ons freely, Buy via villa scrolls via your campsite without having a villa invitation stable slot plus one for all regions and wharf slot plus one for all regions this combination of various different buffs will streamline player choice when deciding which items they should use current sealed book of combat cliff skill add-on guide and armstrong skill guide will be unaffected by these changes for accounts created before the maintenance on february 5th at xbox and february 6th ps4 there will be a special period where the secret book of old moon will be applied to your account for eight days after maintenance uh, on the fifth and sixth see the effects of the newest item for yourself so that is interesting they're just going to combine a bunch of items into one and make them um a little reduced i mean that's 50 percent instead of 100 percent for skill and life and it has some extra goodies added on there but that's going to do it for this week's um updates not anything major we got a minor patch today but i looked at this it really didn't have a whole lot you can see minor patch fixed an issue where in certain circumstances the wizards are locked into a t-post that's literally the only thing that they that was the minor patch um so yeah we'll hopefully get a bigger patch next week i believe maybe next wednesday is the konoichi awakening uh and if that's the case that's when we'll uh jump in the hyper gear uh, with with updates and videos and stuff like that and then we should probably be getting a new character on the playstation 4 here soon enough so i'll be covering that whenever that happens but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys next week for another update video for black desert peace